Okay, so let's go, Paul. You know, we're called hashtag sports. Mm -hmm. Let's check out some Bill's hashtags and let's see what we could find that is trending the latest ones. I just searched on Twitter, Bill's Mafia. Right? Let's just start Safe with the bet. basics. Safe bet. And wouldn't you know, one of the first tweets that shows up goes, let's go Jess Pagula, hashtag Wimbledon. I could care less about <laughs> tennis. You like, could. I could care. No, no, I could care less. <laughs> but I don't want to give tennis that much credit for me to care less about. <laughs> That's how much I care about tennis. Ooh, you know what? Let's look up Josh Allen. Ooh. Because he's... he's Getting all steamy in the comment section. My wife no longer likes Josh Allen. Why? Because of Haley. The, what's the her name? whole thing. Yeah, that whole That's thing. It. Leave him alone, dude. Jesus. Can you imagine if the camera followed you around all day? <laughs> One of the greatest tweets I might have ever seen in my life. Down goes crown. You're gonna have to. We're gonna have to bleep some of this out. I don't care who Josh Allen sleeps with so long. Or I don't care who Josh Allen. Insert. Cuss word. Uh, so long as it's the 14 teams on the schedule this season. <laughs> yeah, let me let me just start. People are way too concerned here. with his personal life. Dude. Yeah, you know, but I mean, off the field stuff impacts, right? It did last year. What? Nothing. You saw Tua Tagovailoa? No. Oh. Every time I see a picture of Tua, I always have to see if, like, it's, it's not medical from alert. the longest yard. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. That's why. Now sit down and shut up. It slipped. I just ate popcorn. <laughs> I just ate popcorn. <laughs> Here's one from Elite at Elite Tua. Tua took a Vilo against the Buffalo Bills last year. 30 of 48, 62.5% uh, passer efficiency, 420 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, 113.9 QBR. Efficient and effective. Ex expect him to build on this. Josh Allen against Miami. Last, uh, last year, in two games <laughs> that Tua started, Josh Allen, 64.6%. 828 yards, 704 passing, six touchdowns, zero INTs at 106.9 QBR. Efficient and effective. Expect him to continue to own the Dolphins this next season. That was a great response. Yeah. I, you know what? Here's. Is it really. Does the NFL. Was it always quarterback battles like this where you talked about. No. A team, and it was really only about the quarterback? No, it's good, but that's what the league has become. And you, you talk about these guys, like you said, making a quarter to a half a billion dollars. They're the most important position because they're the face of the NFL. There's 32 guys that are the face of the NFL, and that's what happens. But can we – I mean, what really matters to you? Let's, let's bring up Josh Allen's playoff game against the Chiefs, the 13-second game. Uh -huh. Could you have played a better game than Allen did that day? He threw for over 300 yards, four touchdowns, no picks, ran the ball for like 70-some yards, still lost. Like, yeah. still lost. I don't care what – that for me, stats are irrelevant now. Like, you played that well against that team, yeah. and you still lost. Yep. So it doesn't matter what his stats were. I don't care. So, at Miami Rye – says Josh Allen is so fat and obese to a gave this man a dad bod. Fat no isn't it a six pack? Josh Allen is like a country built boy. Like here's the I don't here's know my about question. you, you but you that bicep is still bigger than my quad. <laughs> Did you see his the one where they were doing the tug of war? His no. leg looks like a Clydesdale. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, oh, you, you, and somebody called Josh Allen Jamarcus Russell 2.0. The same guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it that you hashtag Josh Allen and it's all Miami fans? 
Like, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Miami, get over. Father's Day is already over. I think there's a lot of speculation around Josh because I think everybody inside and outside of Buffalo knows that as Josh goes, the Bills go. Absolutely. Right? When you're 86% of your offense. <laughs> yeah. And that's something I think we all agree. Has has, got to, you have to improve You got to get that in the 60s. Yeah. You get to improve it. I don't even know what, like, what's a successful thing. But yeah, you got to have it. He can't run as much as he's doing. And I – fully believe that Josh is focused on football. I know that he's dating a movie star. Here's the thing. Their schedules. She's a singer? I thought she was a singer. She, she's in the Marvel movies, dude. She is? Yeah. What does she play? I don't remember. There's like 8,000 characters in these Marvel movies. See how much I care uh, about I Alan's love life? Well, I figured if I said Marvel movie, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's right. We did an episode where you called me Dormammu, and I haven't seen the Doctor Strange movie yet. You are very Dormammu-esque, I, so... I am the eater of worlds. What worlds do I eat? I remember 2019 Mario, and 2019 Mario looked like he'd eaten a few things. <laughs> Ooh. Here. She is in the TV show Hawkeye as Kate Bishop. There it is. She's in the Marvel movies, a spin off series. <laughs> With the least exciting character. She was Gwen she was the voice of Gwen Stacy in Across the Spider Verse. The new Spider Man movie that came out. Uh she was Charlie in the movie Bumblebee. Remember the movie Bumblebee? She was the character in Bumblebee. I love how Paul tells me the Marvel movies. Like it's like, Oh, don't you remember meeting this this person? I'm like, When? It was like it was seven eleven in nineteen ninety eight in the corner when she was buying a, a six pack of Coca Cola. Like, what the fuck? She was in all the Pitch Perfect movies. I don't know how you don't know this reference. Pitch Perfect. Like do I look like someone who's watched Pitch Perfect? <laughs> I'm, I look like I've just been, like, I'm in the motorcycle group Honey Buns of Anarchy right now. <laughs> With all that being said. Uh, he is I, focused on I, yeah. Right. And their schedules are going to be so opposite that they have to enjoy together the time they're going to get together. This is Josh's only opera. This is, this is Josh's off season for like these five weeks. I so you're going to say it's Josh's whole face. <laughs> well, again, there's rumors all over the place of his, you know, off the field. Listen, if, you, if social media had been around the days of Bruce and Kelly and Thurman, oh, God. God knows. And that's just in Buffalo. Yeah, one of the smallest markets. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not buying any of this. You know, that's, I'm not buying any of it. No, I don't. It's like, so, that every, so that you're telling me that all the players that are married now are going to have trouble focusing on football this season. Yeah, because of their wife and kids. Yeah. Let's no. get, stop it. Yeah. Nah. Leave the man alone. The whole thing of, you know, the paparazzi taking pictures of Josh Allen kissing Haley Steinfeld. I don't care. He's a thick booty. I don't care. Yeah, I, I never, that never mattered to me. Like, I don't care oh, about that I stuff. Don't care. Like, if it's a domestic thing. Different like, story. It, oh, yeah, totally, totally different, different story. story. If it's something like that where it's, there's something going. They're hanging out and you're sitting in a bush taking a picture of them being like, hey, it's Josh Allen. Yeah, look but, at his dad bod. Come on. Dad bod. You'd wish you had that dad bod. Come on. Yeah, it's no Josh in the weight room and then tell me he's got dad. Josh has never been cut like that though. He's just a he's just built big. Like there's some guys that are just big. He's just a horse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, I don't That's why I used to laugh last year when the announcers would be like, Oh, he's six five, two forty, but two forty my ass. Yeah, there's no way that's two forty. <laughs> There's no way that's That dude is 255. Yeah. Easy. But here's the thing. He's not going to be that forever. We're going to veer off. Yeah. The discussion at for at a some second. point, you got you to gotta trim. You gotta, well, there was a time that down. Cam Newton was a brick house. Yeah. And he took trim. all those hits. Yeah. Yep. You got to trim down. You got to learn how to be efficient. And, and that's why, you know, like all the tweets, if anybody's got a Miami Dolphin in there, profile picture i immediately just dismiss it as just nonsense right yeah. like i hate to i hate to categorize an entire 
fan base of people like that. Yeah. But, I mean, come but, on. I mean, Paul, if, come on. if you had Dan Marino for 17 years and had no rings, would you be salty too? The best pure passer the position's ever seen. <laughs> the Dolphins aren't, a Dolphin is not a freshwater fish, is it? I wonder why you're so salty. I don't think it categorizes as a fish, Mark. A dolphin is not a fish? I don't think so. That's okay. Patriots aren't a playoff team, doesn't matter. <laughs>